Today I've got not one, not two, not three or four, but five everyday farmhouse style thrift flip decor ideas. Let's get to crafting. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Going to kick it off with DIY number one, taking this round circle. I believe I got it from Dollar Tree because that's where I get most of my stuff. And I'm staining it with Waverly Wax in the color antique. I paint it on and then I take a damp scrap piece of cloth and I wipe it off. And I'm doing the same with this frame. This is a Dollar Tree canvas. I just removed the canvas piece and I always save those for another project. You never know when you'll need one of those. And I'm staining the frame with the same Waverly Wax in the color antique. And then I am taking a little bit smaller circle, smaller than the one I just did, and I'm painting it with folk art paint in the color wicker white. And I'm just doing one side because it's, you're only going to see one side. <laughs> and then I'm taking six jumbo craft sticks. I don't know that I use all six actually, but I'm taking six jumbo craft sticks and I'm painting it with the same wicker white from folk art. And I've laid them down on a piece of masking tape face up and on the ends I've got the two masking tapes holding it down. Doesn't hold it down that great but that's just to kind of keep it in place while I'm painting so they don't wiggle around too much. Now here's where I kind of mess myself up. What I'm trying to do is create kind of like a lattice look to the popsicle sticks and so I'm cutting them at an angle and then I kind of forgot where one of them went, the first one went, and anyway. Then I'm measuring and I'm using a popsicle stick as a spacer in between. And as you can see there, and I'm just laying, I'm cutting out with my scissors, not my good scissors. <laughs> Don't use your good scissors for that. And then I'm going to go in the opposite direction once I get all the way, see, there we go, going in the opposite direction. And I'm just going to do that all the way across. Guys, I run a crafting group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I'd love it if you join. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. The link is going to be in the description box below. If you join, and I hope you do, please either post something you're working on or comment on somebody's picture that they posted that they're working on. We need to encourage each other, y'all. All right, so back to <laughs> putting this together. I did this little decal with my Cricut and it's just kind of like a circle, like a wreath with like some leaves on it. And then my, my initial. And I'm hot gluing the white circle to the one that I did with the antique wax. And then I'm trying to position it in the center as best as I can onto my little lattice work little thing that I've got going on there. And this is how it turned out. Now, truth be told, I kind of wish I did it vertically instead of horizontally, but I think it turned out cute. I love it. And I did just think it looks so good on that shelf with all my other stuff. I'm showing you this because sometimes things don't go as planned. So I had this little piece of scrap wood that came off of another project and I was painting it yellow. And then I cut out a decal with my Cricut and I put it on there, but it was looking too yellow, black, bee-ish. I didn't like it. So DIY number two, I'm taking this cat shape that I got from Dollar Tree and I just soaked off the paper that was on the front and it had some sort of cat saying on the front. It looked cute on its own, but I just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit. And so I'm painting it with Waverly Chuck paint. Oh my gosh. I had to reach back here. I'm using the color Moss. I actually really like this color. That and the other color that I use, that celery color. I just love those two greens. But anyway, I'm using moss for this one and I'm just painting the front. Then I adjusted the decal because I wanted the words to fit the shape versus um, like just being straight across, you know, and I had a couple different ideas that I was going to do. Then I remembered I had this cat shape. So I thought, wouldn't that be fun to put this decal on there? So that's what I did. And I'm using that paper transfer tape. And so then I decided to cut it off line by line and just add it that way to kind of give myself a little bit more control of, over how the letters were going to fit and lay. And so again, this is, see, that's the end result. That's the other one. I mean, they're both okay, but this one, I love it. I just love how it turned out. I love the different size of the words and how they're spread out differently and stuff like that. I just think it turned out so cute. This is part of the third Thursday thrift flips open invite. 
and it happens on the third Thursday of every month, and it's hosted by Rustic Chicks Design, The Rusted Willow, and The Robin's Nest by Terry. I'm telling y'all, do yourself a favor, go to the links that I have in my description box below. I have the playlist down there as well. You really don't want to miss it, especially <laughs> I watched um, The Rusted Willow. She redid this furniture piece. It turns out so gorgeous. So y'all, check out the list, check out the links. You'll love it. Okay, let's kick off DIY number, are we on number three already? I guess we are. <laughs> so, this one's so easy. I got this little tag thing. It came in a set of two. I got it from the Dollar Tree and then I just created a decal on my own and I used uh, Dr. Seuss font from defont.com and then I just got the world thing from Cricut. It was design space, and I'm sure it was like one of the ones that you have to pay for. I've got the premium or the, the, the plan that you pay for, so that's how I got this. But all I'm doing is just adding the decal to this, and then I decided that I wanted to add like a little like beads, like a beaded garland. So I just took some beads that I had on hand. I think these are 20 centimeter or whatever. And I used Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain them and just painting it on. And then I go back in and I wipe it off. And then I threaded it through. And of course I had to add the beads to the, the string because that's what happens next in this. And so I used a little bit of masking tape. So I kind of had like a more firmer needle type thing or pokey things so that it would go through each of the um, beads because the hole's not like, you know, I mean, it's bigger, but it's, it's not super easy to push it through. So I just added some masking tape to the end to make it a little bit easier to thread those on. And then I wrapped the twine that I was using. It's from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I got it last year at Christmas when it was like, whatever percent off. Anyway, I wrapped it around my hand like 20 something times, maybe 25 times. And now I'm going to try to make this tassel. And I just, I'm just an overthinker about a lot of things. And I was trying to decide like, Hey, how do I want to do it? Do I want to do it like this? Do I want to do it like that? So I'm tying off the end right here. So they're kind of, I don't like the beads to be too close together where they're too stiff and not like won't bend that much, not that flexible. And then I'm going to tie on the jute twine to make the tassel. See me tying it there. And then I'm going to tie another piece around the top to make the head of the tassel. And I was just trying to make sure everything was lining up and everything was laying down like I wanted it to. And I'm just wrapping it around the head a little bit. And then I, I knot it and tie it. And then I try my best to pull those extra, the tails of the string that I used to wrap around I, I try to make them lay down so they lay within the tassel. I hope this is making sense. But see, now I'm going to try to straighten. Well, I got to knot it first, but then I try to just pull it down so that it's kind of blending in with the other ones. And then all you do after that is <laughs> grab your salad bill from Olive Garden. I think that's where I got that, <laughs> like the takeout stuff. Anyway, I use that as my little trash can, kind of like a Rachel Ray thing. When she cooks, she just uses a bowl to put all her trash and whatnot in. I use this as my trash can in here, and I'm just giving that tassel a little bit of a haircut. And that's how it looks. It's inside a little basket that I got from Hoppy Lobby, I'm pretty sure. And all those patches that are in there are patches from the places that we've visited, the places that we've traveled to. I will eventually take those and make those into a quilt. But for right now, I just kind of keep them there. And I, I look through them every now and then and go, oh, I remember when we went there. This is a sign that my granddaughter was... Um, letting go and she had given it me to pass on and I was like no 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 I can use this oh I'm showing you on my my mat or something I don't know what I'm doing anyways here is what I'm gonna flip and it's DIY number four I'm gonna stain the frame with the Waverly Wax and the color antique are you sensing I like a theme here I really like the color though to be honest I know some other DIYers use different kind of stains and things like that I don't I just like stick with what I like until I like something else and then I just kind of obsess over that. <laughs> and then I try to lay some tape on the inside so that I don't accidentally paint onto the, you know, inside of the frame or anything like that. And then I paint the inside with um, just a folk art, folk art or Waverly paint in the color black. 
I actually don't remember what color it is and I don't have it handy. But anyway, I'm just painting it on and then I'll let it dry. And I made this decal with, using my Cricut. And if you guys don't have a decal, you could hand letter this on. You could use stickers. There are lots of different ways to create something. So just please don't let the fact that you don't have a Cricut stop you from creating because where there's a will, there's a way. And then I attach this decal to my dried little sign here and just press it down really really good i like the expressions vinyl paper transfer tape but when i looked on the website the other day they only have it in like a 12 inch not the six inch size so i'm like what are y'all doing <laughs> because i really like that size i just think it's a good size and the sign says as you can see it's so good to be home. I love this sign. I think it turned out so cute. I just love it. And uh, I'm going to hang it up in my like little mudroom area. When you come in from the garage, you come into like a little bench area. I'm going to set it there. Y'all, this is it. DIY number five coming at you. Again, staining the frame with Waverly Wax in the color antique. And now I am taking that Waverly chalk paint in the color moss again. And I'm painting the inside of this sign. And I'm not necessarily trying to be like perfect with it. I'm, I'm trying to be neat with it, but I'm not necessarily making sure that everything is covered the exact same because I don't mind if it looks a little distressed, a little, you know, rustic or whatever you want to call it. And I saw a couple other signs out there similar to this one, but I designed this. I used a bunch of different fonts. I really don't remember <laughs> what all fonts I used, but, um, I used several different fonts, you'll see, but it turns out so stinking cute, y'all. I just, I really love how this one turned out. I'm really super proud of this one. If you guys want me to try to upload like the SVG file thing or whatever, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do that for y'all. This is how it turned out and I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm in love with it. It turned out so cute. And man, it just, I just love how it looks. All right, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me while I craft and create. I really do appreciate the company. And I'm gonna leave another video for you guys that you might enjoy. And don't forget if you wanna follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, something like that. My handle is Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye.